you celebrate New Year's Day on January 1st, do you ever wonder why we mark the start of the year on this date? The answer lies in a fascinating journey through history, astronomy, and religion. Long before the Gregorian calendar, people measured time based on the cycles of the moon and the sun. Early calendars, like those of the Egyptians and Babylonians, were lunar based, following the phases of the moon. However, these calendars often fell out of sync with the seasons, leading to discrepancies in agricultural planning and religious observances. Fast forward to ancient Rome. By the first century BCE, the Roman calendar, based on lunar cycles, had drifted significantly out of alignment with the solar year. To address this, Julius Caesar consulted with Greek astronomers and, in 45 BCE, introduced a revolutionary reform, the Julian calendar. The Julian calendar was solar-based, with 365 days divided into 12 months. To account for the extra fraction of a day each year, Caesar added a leap day every four years. He also declared January 1st as the start of the year, aligning it with the Roman god Janus, the deity of beginnings and transitions. While the Julian calendar was a major improvement, it wasn't perfect. The solar year is approximately 365.2422 days long, not 365.25. This small difference of 11 minutes per year caused the calendar to drift by about one day every 128 years. Over centuries, this discrepancy disrupted the timing of key religious events like Easter, which depended on the spring equinox. In the late 16th century, the Catholic Church decided to fix this problem. Pope Gregory XIII convened astronomers and mathematicians to reform the calendar. The result was the Gregorian calendar introduced in 1582. The Gregorian calendar corrected the drift by eliminating 10 days from October 1582. It also adjusted the leap year rule. Years divisible by 100 would not be leap years unless they were also divisible by 400. This kept the calendar more closely aligned with the solar year. However, adopting the Gregorian calendar wasn't straightforward. While Catholic countries like Spain, Italy, and Portugal embraced the change immediately, Protestant and Orthodox nations were more skeptical, seeing it as a Catholic imposition. It wasn't until the 18th century that many Protestant countries like Great Britain and its colonies, made the switch. Russia and other Orthodox nations held out until the early 20th century. January 1st as New Year's Day gained global significance with the spread of the Gregorian calendar. While some cultures and religions still observe their own calendars and New Year traditions, the Gregorian calendar is now the international standard for civil purposes. Today, the New Year is celebrated with unique traditions across the globe. From the dropping of the ball in New York's Times Square to the ringing of temple bells in Japan. Yet, all these celebrations share a common thread, the hope for new beginnings. So, the next time you raise a toast at midnight, remember the journey of the Gregorian calendar and the historical decisions that placed January 1st at the heart of the new year.